You're so dumb. Okay. My name is Kira. This is David, and welcome to Shift Heads. And today, we are going to show you a cool bottle, and I'll tell you if it's worth it or not. And David's just gonna stand there playing with his nipples. You know I'll be reborn. Clicking on all this bottle porn. It could be a unicorn. Can't stop watching all this bottle porn. My name is David, this is Kira, and welcome to Shelf Turds. And tonight, we are talking about bourbon and or whiskey hunting. Kira, what is bourbon hunting? It's where you go out and you think you're gonna buy like some bread and you accidentally stumble on a bottle of liquor. What do you mean stumble upon? Literally stumble on it. Like in the bread aisle? In the bread aisle because you're just, you're just so drunk. And guess what? You're not even in the bread aisle anymore. You somehow ended up in the cigarette aisle of a Kentucky Fried Chicken in the middle of Florida. I'm pretty sure Florida still has those. Florida seems like one of those states that would have a cigarette aisle, if you know what I mean. In a Kentucky Fried Chicken. In a Kentucky Fried Chicken. I don't doubt that Florida has a cigarette aisle, whereas in Michigan, those things are taxed through the roof and behind glass bulletproof plates. So why do they have a cigarette aisle in a KFC? That's just how Florida is. Florida is just like a hodgepodge of weird things. Like a tree house with a hot tub up in it. That's true, I watched that with you. Yeah, and like, you know that hot tub is dirty. You know Why are you getting in it? Making my hot tub dirty hit me. Look at that water. They're like pH balance hot tubs, right? Like they're they're strong enough hot for a man, but they're made for a woman. <laughs> but the thing that you don't know about hot tubs is it's actually Floridian law, which is what Florida calls their laws, Floridian, uh, that there be at least 10% semen in every hot tub. Hot dirty. Exactly. And it's disgusting. Just don't go into any Hot water tub. in Florida. Just stay out of the water. Well, there's also alligators in Florida in the water. Yeah. That feed on children, but primarily they feed on semen. <laughs> That's why they're there. That is why the alligators are in Florida rather than Louisiana. They're like, oh, I can smell the, the stinky semen. And they come over to Florida. Is now a good time to clarify we mean naval men? Ship, shipmen, people who boat. Oh. Men of the sea. I think you're thinking of Virginia. <laughs> what am I thinking about Virginia? <laughs> That's where the Navy SEALs are. SEALs? <laughs> Hardly newer. <laughs> so tonight, we have a very special bottle that Kira the Huntress is going to review for you to let you know whether you should be hunting it or not. It is Remus Repeal Reserve Batch 5 given to us, allocated to the Shelf Turds Bar by one, by the only, Chester Solstice. So Kira, let's get into this. Okay. And find out if it's worth hunting or not. Hunt, hunt, hunt. I want to go hunting. Hunt, hunt, hunt. Let's go hunting. Whoa, I'm getting a bloom of freaking brown sugar. And it just kind of like, you smell it, and then it just like expands. Expands into what is the question? Like a caramel, not really caramel, maybe salted-ish? Salt, Himalayan salt. What is the difference between Himalayan salt and sea salt and regular salt? One of them has iodine to protect you from the freaking um, explody things. Bombs? Yes. Missiles, bullets. It's All in, of them. Incendiary rounds. All of them. Popped balloons. Everything, everything that explodes, iodine protects you from. Microwave popcorn. And then um, you have your regular salt without iodine. No one knows what that does. And then you've got your Himalayan salt, which helps align your chi. Oh, like that tea I get at Starbucks? Yes. Okay. I was going there and asked for a chi tea. You're like, can I get a chi tea? And they're like, do you mean chai? No, I always... And then you're like, no, I want a chi tea. I always get my chi tea at Starbucks. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, it just smells so good. It smells like freaking candy bar, chocolate candy bar right here without the chocolate. So whatchamacallit. 
Vanilla. Oh, that's it. Uh, for sure, a ton you're, of vanilla. You're on the right train now. It's honey, it's definitely vanilla. So much sugar, so much sugar. And I am getting, seriously, a little bit of Himalayan salt. Also, yeah, like, a little Himalayan cat. No. No, I'm getting real strong bay leaf, honey, vanilla. All right, let's get into it. I like it a lot, actually. Cinnamon, brown sugar. I'm getting notes of like a chocolate cake in there. Not the frosting, just the cake. So I'm like, oh gosh, I was gonna say whipped cream, but it's not a creamy. I think it's just the vanilla in it. Don't you think? Like it's just straight up freaking vanilla cone. I don't know. A vanilla, a, okay. The Mexican vanilla extract that I have upstairs. <clears throat> just regular vanilla extract. Mm. Uh, you can definitely tell the age on it. It's an aged drink for Shersies. You know what's, what's strange about this though? What? So we did the Barter House video. Yeah. That had that nice Kentucky hug going down. This finish doesn't end down here. It does finish. Yes. Back palette doesn't keep going. Just sort of missed that about that Barter House. Well, the other one at the Barter House, I wasn't getting any of that. So I think you were just having acid reflux at the time. And like right now, this is nice. Just leave it here. Don't go down here so much. It's not desserty either. It's still very manly. On this, actually, in my mouth, I'm st I'm getting tobacco. I'm getting a little bit of a tobacco leaf, like mild. Cinnamon. Mm. Some. I mean, chocolate cake keeps hitting me towards the tail. Oh, I wish I could get some chocolate. Cake. Straight up chocolate cake, no frosting, moist chocolate cake. Brownies. Am I allowed to say moist? And are you allowed to say brownies? <laughs> I can, you can't. You know what this reminds me of? Um, Florida. Smoke, <laughs> smoke wagon. Really? Yes. I'm getting a lot of smoke wagon off, off, although this is way smoother than a smoke wagon, but I do get some of this like manly, tobacco-y, smoky taste like I get in a smoke wagon. I think it's different than smoke wagon a lot, but I can see where you're making that comparison. What do you think it's like then? Not my job to make comparisons, it's yours. Do you want to compare us to uh, Smoke Wagon? I would like to, yes! We are going to compare Remus Batch 5 to Smoke Wagon Small Batch 100 Proof. 100 years old. Yes, I am, and I'd look really great for being 100. I can do the cha-cha and the Charleston. So, I know not every... <coughs> Totally wrong. These do not smell the same at all. So, Smoke Wagon off the nose, very light, fruity. I always get bubble gum off Smoke Wagon, like original flavor bubble gum. I'm getting it again. So, I'm getting actually smoke. I don't know if it's because it's Smoke Wagon, but oh. I'm literally getting some like secondhand smoke from this. And I'm getting some secondhand wagon from this. Oregon Trail is happening here. There's some dust, diseases. Mm. Plague. Laura Inkles Wilder, she's the, just lost her freaking shoe. The black lung. It's her leather shoe that's on the dusty ground. Locust, pestilence. You can tell the difference in age, right off the get-go. Smoke Wagon Small Batch is much younger. Yes. I was about to say, this tastes so young. Um, it also is very, what do I want to say to it? It's like a bright kind of a taste. While this one, it's a little darker, a little yeah. sweeter than... I don't know that it's sweeter, but I like the bright darkness contrast. Yeah. Smoke Wagon Small Batch is very, very bright tasting, lively, vibrant, a little younger. The Remus Repeal 5 is similar, but darker, more aged, more mature. Should people be hunting Remus Batch 5? Okay, you can if you want to. You can go search and hunt for Remus Batch if you, 5. If you want to. If you want to. What is the Kira Miles on it? I would probably go maybe like 70 miles for this one. I'd go further. What is the, the Kira price on this one? $89. We just had a first. This is the first time that the Kira price has aligned with MSRP. Oh my gosh, really? Yes. Okay. It's really good, but I don't want to drive that far for it. Like, if you're going to be that high maintenance, <laughs> no thank you. But you're willing to pay suggested retail for it. Correct. Wow. 
Mm -hmm. Who saw that coming? Not this guy. I didn't know it was $89. It's delicious. It's very, very good. All right, so uh, <laughs> so Kira was, she says you can hunt it if you want to. Don't drive very far, but shockingly enough, Kira says pay suggested retail for it. Once again, we have to thank Chester Solstice for this bottle. I was way off the smoke wagon. I apologize, but it's not like you're here for my knowledge and you're here for my opinion. So go get yourself some Remus and have a great afternoon. Like, comment, subscribe. More bottle porn coming your way if you're lucky. Love you, mean it. I lie here all alone I'm feeling frisky so I pick up my phone Keep the lights down low Lying in bed, no one has to know I know you try to warn me But these bottles got me so horny And I can't see clear when anyone mentions whiskey of the year You know I'll be reborn Clicking on all this bottle porn It could be a unicorn Can't stop watching all this bottle porn Make it oily, give me viscous I want to taste biscuits at Christmas My palms feel so warm After watching all this bottle porn I watch it all night long Bottle after bottle how could this be wrong? And I'll drive from state to state If I was single, I would never get a date And I know the liquor store owner But that doesn't satisfy my bottle But loneliness Clicking on all this bottle porn it could be a unicorn Can't stop watching all this bottle porn Make it oily, give me biscuits I want to taste biscuits at Christmas My palms feel so warm After watching all this bottle porn I don't like you love to put me on the spot. You're just like, just tell That's me. That's when you're at your best. Tell me your funniest <clears throat> secret. And I was like, how many fucking secrets do I have to tell you? That's then. why they're called secrets. So you don't know. My name. <laughs> My. My name is David. This is Kira. And hey, welcome <laughs> to Shelters. I want it. I got it. I want it. I got it. You like my hair? Gee, thanks. It's Just bought it. it. Take it in the butt. I want it. I, I got it. it. I would like to, yes!